Hey folks, it's Ardwolf. Just wanted to give you, uh, and me actually, sort of a little work in progress type of thing. This is uh, going to be a little small tour of what the, the game space, what will in time become the game space looks like so that we can then compare it a year from now or whatever that turns out to be. Um, or, or even an intermediate stage that I'm shooting for right now, um, and we can see what it turns into. So this is for my reference just as much as it is to, to show it off to everybody else. So I'm in the basement, and right now this is the big pile of games. Now some of it's been unpacked. Um, I don't know how many boxes offhand, about 10 or 12 boxes have been unpacked. Uh, more than that, these are all empty. So that's what I've emptied so far. All this stuff is still yet to be uh, sorted out. Now, I don't have shelves up for everything yet. This is the doorway. Now, this doorway, there's some ductwork above it, so the uh, door frame's not a regular height, so I'm going to have to put a door in here. I don't know how that's going to work yet. I'm going to probably have to make a door to do that, um, so we will see exactly how that works. But uh, the floor out here is just concrete with a coating on it. Uh, in here we have this sort of uh, relatively inexpensive laminate floor. Now the dimensions here, these are all Calax bookcases that are just like stacked up right now. Um, and you can see the the filming area, the current filming area, the lighting in here is an absolute, absolute horror show right now. Um, you can see that there's a big gap between the wall and that bookcase that will eventually be remedied once I get the last bookcases out of the room. Now this dimension right here turns out to be about 10 and a half feet. Um, and then this dimension, the long size of the room, turns out to be about 18 and a half feet. Um, so we'll have enough space for a pretty nice game room. Plus we have this weird nook in the wall, which right now is filled with games. Turns out this TV, which was dropped by the movers, miraculously survived. And if it still works, I'm gonna actually leave it pretty much right there. Um, weird outlets in the ceiling, by the way, which I'll have to sort of work. I'll, I'm, I'll work around it. I'll just staple some uh, some appropriately colored cabling up so that it doesn't look quite as jarring. But I'll keep this TV in there. And in true Winterfest tradition, I will play uh, war movies and stuff while we're playing war games. And that will be cool. Um, so we have this doorway, which is a standard-sized doorway. Here's Simon who just tried to jump up on the Calyx and failed. Um, so this is going to be the office. Now, there's some signs of moisture in here and it smells a little damp, so we're, we're definitely going to have to get a dehumidifier down here in this basement anyway. Um, so we've got this sort of, a, again, a, a big nook here uh, with random stuff, including some games. Um, what's games here is like parts to games are, is what's here. I don't know what I'm going to use this for yet, other than general storage. This is actually going to end up being where the liquor uh, is is stored, because there's really no room for it upstairs. We're going to put shelves for games, RPGs is my thought, on that wall, and also on this wall. And then this wall, which again I'm going to probably think about painting, is going to be the wall on which my desk rests. Um, and we might do printer or something like that as well. We'll see exactly how that works. Uh, the floor is a little bit gross. Um, there is some signs of both uh, some moisture in this particular room. There's why that's why these water sensors were on the floor, uh, which that one does work. I'm totally going to put that back down in time. And I'm also going to I bought some of those cheap carpet squares for two bucks a piece at a local thrift store. They will need a cleaning. But that's what is going to go in this room to prevent it from being super duper echoey, which right now it is. I took all those metal shelves off the walls, and I'm pretty sure I'm giving them to my father-in-law, who will be delighted to have extra shelving. Um, we got, you know, working around the ductwork bizarro ceilings here, but that's going to pretty much work out here. For the moment, I'm actually going to put the two Calax 3x3s here. And... What will go on that probably is going to be RPG stuff, but we'll see. Um, and then I think my idea here, again, on this wall, is two Billy bookcases, which will pretty much fit in that space. So um, another thing that there's evidence of down, quite a bit of evidence of down here is mouse droppings. So the floor down here has got to get pretty thoroughly cleaned before I put any carpet down over it. 
Um, I'm, you know, pretty comfortable that bringing four cats into the house is pretty much going to put that particular problem to bed. Uh, so I think uh, they are all great hunters, and I'm sure we'll do great. We do, of course, have some. So, so at the moment, until and unless I decide to buy or manufacture custom shelving solutions, um, I am definitely going with the IKEA Calaxes on this wall. Um, a 3x4 um, and a 2x4 stacked on top of each other will absolutely fit, and we can fit two of those side by side, and that will fit a, quite a bit of war games. Not, you know, everything, but quite a bit. I may also put some stuff on this wall, but I haven't really made that decision yet, since I'd like to retain as much floor freedom as I can. What I might do over here is actually put some kind of half-size cabinet which could then double as your kind of side table for uh, charts and tables, off-map displays, chip cups, whatever. Um, uh, and that leaves the length of the room, you know, which would be more or less 16, 15, 16 feet, um, for tables. I am pretty sure I'm going with a folding table solution for now. In the long run, I'd like to, you know, do something a little nicer than that. But in the long run, I wouldn't mind pushing this wall out to here and giving myself what looks like another three or so feet of game room. Um, it wouldn't add to the length unless I also removed the office, which I guess is a, a, you know, a thing we could consider. Uh, but that's the, uh, the, the you know, kind of small space. It's not, it's not an enormous cavern. But um, I guess I might as well send some down here. I'll show you the rest of the basement, though. Here's uh, HVAC number one, sump pump number one. Here's the hot water heater, water softener. We're on well water here. So um, we've got this space right here kind of just outside the game room. This floor is quite unlevel. So we need to, well, I think I might put these bookcases here. They need to be leveled. So I need to pick up some shims and stuff. And I think if I'm going to go with the Calax solution on that one wall, that I am actually going to mount a 2x4 to that wall and then mount the Calaxes to the 2x4. And we have this sort of concrete, uh, or cinder block, I suppose, uh, gateway here with ductwork on top. I am not tall enough to hit my head on that, but I could so totally see friends that might. Um, these are the old shelves from that little room. And lights are off for some reason here. But we have this area, which I think is going to be the sort of small crafts workshop. Um, I intend to use this workbench, which is currently completely cluttered with crap, um, for um, the leatherworking, which is a hobby that I have not partaken in for quite a while because of lack of space. There's also this room over here, which uh, we've got... You know, no more metal shelving with a bunch of cans of paint on it, which we we might end up using some of this paint. Um, one of these, again, this came out of that room. Um, there's another hole in the floor here. Um, and I could actually hook up a garden hose to this if I wanted to for some reason. This is uh, another thing to treat the well water. Uh, and then we have this sort of nook here, which I'm pretty sure is just going to end up being storage. I may reorient these big shelves which looks like they came from Costco um, but um, I think this and, and I may put some of these metal shelves in here just leaning them against the wall to put light stuff on uh, but I think that uh, that's all this is going to be is just storage I don't want stuff in boxes on the floor I want shelves uh, we do have some extra carpet down here which you may end up using for something obviously he needs attention so that's the whole basement um, here's the gateway that leads up to the garage and that's the doorway that leads up to the laundry room um, and then there's a uh, enough space back here to probably throw some totes of Christmas stuff or something like that but don't really want to put much else back here so that, that's pretty much my basement tour uh, hopefully you found this neat um, I might do another one of these uh, I might not do another one of these until such a time as um, substantive improvements have been made. So, so hopefully you've enjoyed watching it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you later.